Okay, have a look at the growth here. This is week four, four weeks. And uh, you, know, you can see for yourself, these systems work uh, like nothing else. They're amazing. Okay, I spoke in one of my previous videos about the system going particularly well, but it was missing a filter. And we need a filter in here because the floating raft systems need really clean water. The, the roots of the plants will get clogged up otherwise and they just won't absorb the nutrients. And it needs to have really, really clear water. So there's lots of good ones out there. I've searched the internet and I nearly purchased a couple. And I decided to, uh, to make my own and here it is. Simply a plastic box I found in the garage and I've plumbed it in. This is coming directly from the sump. It's coming in here, going through my filter material, which I'll show you in a moment, and coming back out here to the floating raft system. So the floating raft uh, systems don't get any water that hasn't been filtered. If I just open this up here, simple plastic box. I purchased a few aquarium bio balls that provide a lot of surface area so the bacteria can start doing their job. And in this particular case, I'm wanting it to do some mechanical filtration as well. And I've put in three banks here of uh, filter material, filter foam, just to take out any of those solids. And just on this side over here, in case I ran into any problems where things got clogged up or blocked, uh, if it went to overflow, I've put in an overflow valve here that simply goes straight back into my fish tank. And look, you know, it's a, it's a cheapie, it cost me about $50. But I've got to say, it is working particularly well. The water has cleared up unbelievably. It really, really has. Um, one last thing was, um, because we're using sort of some biological as well as mechanical filtration in there, I've put an air stone in there to, to uh, make sure there's air coming up through those uh, bio balls to ensure the bacteria has the, uh, you know, the right environment to grow in there. And look, it's working great. I've got some, uh, some mini basil here. Mini basil. And I'll pick a nice big piece of this off here. It grows just like a weed in the aquaponic system, it really does. Um, I've actually planted some in here and some in my regular garden, and this stuff, like, it grows five times as quick. And I want to show you something. Nice big bushy piece of sweet basil. Okay, now I've got a little clip here that I uh, clip it onto, and I'm dropping that straight into my aquaponic system. Now the fish I have in here are jade perch and they'll sort of eat, uh, eat pretty much anything. It's floated in underneath the uh, little cover they have there. And we'll come back in you know, 10, 15 minutes and I'll give you a bit of a, a view of how much they love the basil. You'll be very, very surprised, I think. This is fantastic, stay tuned. And uh, have a look at this. Fish out the basil. And it's almost like a pack of piranhas, you wouldn't want to fall in there. But they love this, and I've got plenty of it, so I just think it's a great thing for the fish and the whole system in general. Okay, I, uh, I started a couple of chilies off in the floating raft system, and uh, it's been three weeks now, and they've come up to this height, and I don't really want to leave them in the floating raft, I want to free up the space for some other things. Plus the chilies, you know, they, they develop a lot slower and grow a lot bigger, so I'm going to put them in the, uh, the grow bed here. It's as simple as this. It's a little bit crowded here, but this uh, basil won't be staying because I'm feeding it to the fish. Just simply pull back a few rocks. You can see how nice and moist that is. Lay it down. Make sure the roots are down underneath. Put the gravel back, and simple as that. Now that chili, I have no doubt, will absolutely thrive in there. He'll come up and be a bit of a centerpiece of this particular bed. And yes, it's close to the tomato, yes, it's close to the basil, but that's what you can do in uh, aquaponics. You can grow things a lot closer than normal, and I'll, I think that'll be great. Well, this one will be a bit different if it works. I've found what I think, 90, 99% sure it's a pawpaw, growing between the crack of uh, two bricks out the front. And uh, it's obviously a bit sad, it's been broken off, but I'm going to put in the aquaponics system, see if that can revitalise it. That'll be interesting.